Hola, ¿qué tal? I'm going to teach you and Cody how to introduce yourself in Spanish using the verb ser. There are two verbs in Spanish that you can use to tell things about yourself. One is ser and the other one is estar. Both of these verbs mean to be. But for this lesson, we are going to focus on ser. With the verb ser, you can talk about your name, your nationality, your occupation, your physical appearance, and your personality. Ser is an irregular verb, and that means it doesn't follow the normal rules of conjugation of other verbs. Let's take a look. Yo soy. Tú eres. Él, ella, usted es. Nosotros, nosotras, somos. Ellos, ellas, ustedes, son. Remember, in Spanish, you can choose to use personal pronouns in the sentence or not. So, you can say, eres María or tú eres María. If you are going to ask a question in Spanish like, are you María? You can say, tú eres María or eres María. So it's basically the same sentence. You just have to raise your intonation at the end of the question. Have you ever noticed that a question in Spanish has an extra question mark? In Spanish, a sentence and a question can be said the same way. That's why it's so important to use intonation when asking a question. The use of the extra question mark at the beginning is to let the reader know that a question is coming. Finally, to say no, simply put no behind the verb like in no eres maria. This structure will work the same way with the rest of the verbs. Are you ready to practice with us? We have already studied some vocabulary about occupations and nationalities with Cody. There's a link in the description of the list of vocabulary that we studied. So now I'm gonna ask Cody some questions and we'll see if he can give me the right answer. You can try to answer as well and let us know in the comments how you did. We are gonna use eres or are this is the verb ser conjugated for the person you or to. Let's get started. ¿Eres mexicano? No soy mexicano. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy mexicano if you are a man. Soy mexicana if you are a woman. Or no soy mexicano. No soy mexicana. ¿Eres dentista? No soy dentista. Soy... Uh, well, what am I? Estudiante. Ah, yeah. Soy estudiante de español. Soy dentista or no soy dentista. ¿Eres Juan? No soy Juan. Um, soy Cody. Soy Juan or no soy Juan. ¿Eres sociable? No eres sociable. No soy, no soy, no soy, no soy asociable. No soy asociable. What does that even mean? Sociable. I'm sociable. Am I not sociable? I don't know. Si, soy asociable. Soy sociable or no soy sociable. ¿Eres alto? No. <laughs> no. No, no soy alto. What's I wish? Ojalá. Ojalá. No soy alto. Ojalá. Soy alto if you are a man. Soy alta if you are a woman. No soy alto. No soy alta. So we have asked and answered some questions with the verb ser. Now let's introduce ourselves. And by ourselves, I mean you. Me? Yes, you. Soy Cody. Yeah. Soy... No. Uh, what, what, what else can I say? Hola, soy Cody. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy estudiante de español. Soy sociable, pero no soy alto. Aha! Bien. Now try introducing yourself in Spanish in the comments below. So let's see what we learned today. You can use the verb ser to introduce yourself. Use it to talk about your name, occupation, nationality, physical appearance, and personality. Questions and sentences have the same structure, so you can say ¿Eres estudiante? in an affirmative sentence or ¿Eres estudiante? 
in a question. Just remember to use your intonation. We also learned how to say no by simply putting no at the beginning of the sentence, like in no eres estudiante. It's important to practice your vocabulary and remember to conjugate. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Ciao! Soy, yo soy sociable. Si soy sociable, or si no, si soy sociable. You can say soy sociable. That's okay. it. So, eres sociable? Si, yo sociable. <laughs> yo soy. You cannot say I sociable. You need to say I am sociable. So, you say yo soy sociable or soy sociable. Either one.